He's a mayor and a Mormon. But Mike Winder of West Valley City likes to have other spiritual leaders give the invocation at council meetings. These six were invited after a massacre at one of their temples in Wisconsin. I was touched by, uh, because of that tragedy, to, to think more about the Sikh community among us. Mormons are also an American minority, with six million followers concentrated in the West. Mitt Romney is the closest any of them have come to the presidency. Winder's excited for two reasons. First, Mitt Romney is my grandpa Ned Winder's third cousin, and he's also uh, my grandma Gwen Winder's third cousin on her side. And because it's a milestone for all Latter-day Saints. We've come a long way, and to see a Republican presidential nominee to be a member of the LDS Church really is quite historic for our faith. Winder has written about how U.S. presidents treated Mormons. Their founding prophet, Joseph Smith, actually ran for president in 1844. But many Americans know very little about the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and they wonder how its teachings might sway a political leader who's a member of the church. The Mormon church has often been accused of pushing a conservative agenda in politics. And we appreciate all you do in our community. But the mayor says church authorities don't meddle in politics. I've never heard of them uh, calling an elected official, a mayor, or, uh, or a governor, or a congressman. How are we doing, guys? At a community event, Winder meets his constituents. 55% of West Valley City is Mormon. Winder is popular here. His family has sold milk for generations. In Mormon churches, everyone pitches in, and that's part of the work ethic, says Winder. So currently I'm a, a, a Sunday school teacher. I've been asked to do different assignments, and uh, it doesn't matter whether you're Mitt Romney or, or anyone else, everyone has their role to play in their local congregation. Jesus Christus ist am Kreuz gestorben. These young men are training to be missionaries. It's a requirement of all Latter-day Saints, including Romney when he was young. Good morning, brothers. The church does not have paid clergy, and the wealthy are often chosen for leadership positions, says book publicist and church critic Tom Kimball. He says that gives those who are chosen a feeling of divine right. And there's also an idea among church, some lower level church leaders that as they gain uh, ecclesiastical offices like Mitt Romney did as a state president, that anything that sort of comes into their head is actually, you know, put there by God. Thanks, guys. Kimball says Romney has avoided talking about his faith until now because many Americans see it as strange. Mormonism is an easy target. Many believers are hoping that by being more open about his faith, Romney will increase its acceptance in America and his chances of victory in November. See you guys. Thank you. Jerome Sokolovsky, VOA News, West Valley City, Utah.